Hey guys, so I'm starting out with some models own mattifying primer, it took me a second. And I'm just using my fingers to apply this all over my face. And then I'm going in with the MAC Hyper Real Foundation in Rose Gold FX. And I'm just using a little Real Technique square foundation brush just to paint this all over my face. Then for my foundation, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation and I finally remembered not to use too much. So this tiny little amount, like that's tiny for me, covered my entire face perfectly. So I blended everything out using a damp sponge and I had perfect full coverage. Then for cream contouring, I'm using the Benefit Cooler Quickie Contour Stick and I'm just applying it to my cheekbones, around my hair, line, uh, my temples and all of those normal areas that I always apply it to. And then I'm using my new favourite brush for this purpose which is the Quartz Beauty Face Sculpting. Guys, this brush is just like... Oh, it's so good. I can't explain. So I'm just buffing everything out using that. And then for concealer, under my eyes, I used Tarte Shape Tape in light sand. And then for the rest of my face, I used MAC uh, Studio Fix Concealer in NC20. And I just applied that down the center and to any blemishes, just because it was a little bit more yellow toned and I really wanted to kind of counteract any redness or anything that I had in my skin and I always make sure to take my concealer onto my eyelids as well. Then I'm using a bit of cream highlighter. This is the Benefit What's Up highlighter. So I'm just going in with the Quartz Beauty Concealer Buffer Brush, picking up product straight from the stick and then applying it to all of the high points of my face. Then to set my concealer, I'm going in with the MAC Shaped Shape and Sculpt palette and I'm setting my eyelids and my under eyes and sort of just kind of in the center of my face with that banana shade and then for the rest of my face I'm using MAC Studio Fix powder and I'm just pressing that into my skin using a Quartz Beauty Luxe powder brush and I'm in the shade C3 as well then for my contour, I'm mixing those two shades to the left together from the same MAC palette and I'm using a Sigma F05 just to basically set my cream contour and intensify all of my features. I don't know what I'm trying to say. So I'm just applying that to all of those areas and then for my blush, I'm taking MAC Melba which is one of my all time favorites. It is just the most perfect matte coral blush ever. So I applied that to my cheeks and then for highlight I'm using the Becca highlight in Champagne Pop which I hadn't actually used for a very very long time but I do like it a lot, a lot a lot when I have a nice tan. So I'm just using a Shimmer Veil brush from Quartz Beauty which is my new fave to apply that to all the high points and then I'm just going in with this Tarte 4-in-1 spray to kind of set everything down. Then moving on to eyes, I'm using the Tartlet in Bloom palette and the first shade I am taking is called Smarty Pants. It's just like a matte, light, warm toned brown and I'm just using an E40 from Sigma to buff this into my crease and underneath my lower lash line. Then I'm going into the shade Sweetheart, which is just a bit more of a mauve shade. So I'm doing the same thing, basically. I'm just layering these two colors together just to, you know, add some effects that I would like to get. This is a terrible video, I'm so sorry. <laughs> then I'm taking the shade Rebel on a MAC 217 brush and I'm starting to build this up in the outer corner and then bring it in through the crease and then I am buffing it underneath the lower lash line and I'm not being shy because you guys know I like a nice buffed out lower lash line. Then I'm taking the shade Leader which is kind of like a deep chocolatey 
beautiful matte color and I'm just doing the same thing applying it in the outer corner and then buffing the excess through the crease and under the eyes then I'm taking the shade Charmer on a Quartz Beauty Luxe shader and I'm just applying that to my brow bone and then I'm going into this palette from Models Prefer it is their foil finish cream eyeshadow in Gold Rush and I started to apply this I applied it to my entire lid and I do love the way it looks and you guys know I love these palettes um, and then I'm taking this lighter shade but I did have a bit of trouble with it because I applied way well, way too much so I'm blending out the edges here with my MAC 217 just to try and salvage everything a little bit and then I'm going into the shade Funny Girl and I'm just using this to highlight my inner corners. Then I went in with some black pencil liner and I tight lined and popped this into my waterline. And then I am going in with some mascara, no, I'm sorry, some eyeliner. So I just did a little thin line with this Sigma felt liner pen and then I went in with my Tarte gifted mascara and I just applied a layer of that then for my falsies I'm taking the Lux Boutique I think they are and um, they're in the style Kylie and it was here when I was applying this that I really got the shits because I had applied too much of that cream eyeshadow so to try and salvage it I took the shade firecracker from the tartlet palette I buffed this hard into the lid just to try and soak up some of the creaminess it was my own fault I should have used my finger and I shouldn't have used that much product it just doesn't work as well anyway so I've got my lashes on then I am going in with the shade smoked no smoke show sorry and I'm using a flat definer brush just to press this into the lash line and then for lips I'm lining them using MAC boldly bare so sorry that I use this all the time but I'm just obsessed with it and then to fill them in I used the Tarte color splash lipstick in the shade pink lemonade which is like the most perfect corally peachy summery beautiful color ever and they're so hydrating I love these lipsticks and that is the completed look I really hope you guys enjoyed it sorry my voiceover sucks I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one